Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to do an updated version of what's in the case. The last time I did this was probably, I don't know, eight, nine months ago, and some things have changed, and I get a lot of questions about my equipment, so I'm going to cover that with you today. Number one, let's just reach in here and see what we pull out. This is a Predator Icon 2. Um, this was actually the second Predator that I got. I got a Predator Icon 1 initially, and uh, I sold it to a guy named Sue who bought that cue so that I could buy this one. And I've had it probably about 15 years now. It looks like it's in brand new condition. The grip and everything is intact. Um, really love this cue. It's a beautiful cue, Predator Icon 2. And, and let's see what else we got. On that Predator Icon 2, by the way, I use a number of different shafts. So I have a Predator 314. Currently, this particular shaft, I have three of these. This particular one, um, I put a little B on the cap here. This is the one that I'm breaking with when I break with a plain cue. It's got a Kamui uh, Black Soft, and all of the shafts, unless I tell you otherwise, have Kamui black soft tips on them. So that is my um, kind of specialty brake cue right now, or brake shaft, but I have uh, different cues that I put it on. So I also have a new Predator 314, the third generation, which I will play with from time to time. Obviously, my number one shaft is the Predator Revo. Uh, have this had this since September of 2020, and uh, I really love this thing. This has made all other shafts um, seem obsolete. If you get one of these and you get accustomed to it, it's very difficult to go back. But my backup cues are all wooden cues, so I do shoot with those and I make videos with them, and uh, you've seen them around. My second playing cue in here is this Predator Sport. Um, this is relatively new. I've had this probably only about five months or so. I really like this. I like the rubber grip, um, even though when I grip the cue, because my um, because of my height, uh, like a lot of pro players, I'm at the end of the the, the cue uh, as far as where I'm gripping it. So the rubber grip is actually the the only time I actually feel the grip uh, when I'm playing because my other cues the the grip ends here, and I'm usually. Uh, on the queue itself back here. Great queue. I really like it. It's very sporty looking. And speaking of the BK2, I have a BK2 shaft here. They now have the BK3. There's not a lot of difference in the two, I don't believe, but um, these are great brake cues, um, brake shafts. I've had this for probably about 10 or 15 years. And um, of course, these are low deflection, very expensive, probably about $350 for these but um, Predator BK2. My number one playing cue is Predator Black 4. Uh, this is the cue that I'm gonna grab first if I'm playing a match. The Icon uh, is kind of my secondary cue, and I really love this thing. You don't see it in a lot of the videos because I kind of baby it. It is twice as much as my second most expensive cue, uh, so I don't really wanna get it dinged up or anything when I'm practicing and it's the same size and weight as the Icon, so I'm more likely to grab the Icon uh, or a Lucasi than to actually um, grab this one, but this is my baby, I do practice with it, but any matches, this is gonna be the first thing that I grab to play with. What else do we have in here? This is my Lucasi collection. Um, this is a Lucasi Custom. It is relatively plain looking cue, I really like this. Uh, occasionally I play at some places where you don't want to walk in with a $1,400 pool cue. Uh, it might end up missing or it's just cramped in there and you don't want to get it dinged up. Um, this is usually the cue that I will take with me under those conditions. Uh, so this is a pretty nice cue. It's about half the price of a Predator and um, I like it just as much and all the Predator shafts fit it. So I don't usually have the Lucasi shaft on there. I usually have a Predator shaft on it. I can throw a Revo on there. I can throw a 314 and have a great cue. Also in the Lucasi group is the Big Beulah. And if you look at this, this thing has had a lot of reps. 
One of the downsides of rubber grips is that they do wear a lot quicker. And because most of my cues, I'm grabbing them at the end, I don't put a lot of wear and tear on the leather grips. But this one, because the grip goes all the way down to the end, uh, you can see where my hand goes during those breaks. Also, we have another Lucasi Custom. This thing is nice. Um, again, about half the price of the Predator. It is beautiful. I really like this. This is kind of my, um, my barbecue show-off cue. If I don't want to take a um, Predator uh, black or, or something like that, something more expensive with me, and it's just about show, this is the cue. It is really nice looking. Uh, Lucasi makes some really nice cues that are not as expensive as Predator, and you can put the Predator shafts on these things to quick release uh, Unilock. Next, we have a Poison. Uh, this thing is beautiful. Um, I wish I could tell you I enjoy playing with it. It does have sentimental value. I got this from Chanel Lorraine in a challenge match, and I really like the way it looks. I don't play with it much. I, I um, don't like the way uh, it hits because I'm so accustomed to low deflection and it's a standard deflection cue. But if you don't know about Poison, they make really good high-end cues. It is the sister company to uh, Predator. So it's kind of Predator's low-end cue line. They're not that low, but uh, I really like this cue. I may ultimately give this away. It is beautiful and reminds me of Chanel Lorraine. So the next thing we have in here is probably my most recent player's purchase. I've got it about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, for whatever reason, I got my name put on this. Uh, so this is the Bryant Mitchell edition, which means that I probably will never be able to sell it. It's only a couple hundred dollars. I probably wouldn't sell it anyway. But um, these are great backup cues if you need something to keep in your car. Uh, I usually keep a 314 and a Lucasi in my car uh, for emergency situations. And um, because if you keep cues in your car, the temperature changes can mess up your cue. Uh, the only reason I can afford to do it is because I've got three, actually four, 314s and um, the Lucasi butts. Uh, you put it up in a, in, a, in a case and you're all set as far as your backup cue goes. You're not going to lose sleep over it if it gets stolen or if it gets a little bit warped because the temperature changes. Also, we have, you've probably heard me talk about this thing. This is beautiful. 30-year-old player's cue plays like it's brand new. It looks like it's brand new. Over 30 years old, guys. Uh, this is an amazing cue. I don't play with this anymore. I did use it as an emergency cue one day. I had it in my car uh, about 15 years ago. I showed up at the pool hall, didn't have my proper bag with me, but I did have this in the, in the car and I played a match with it and I did very well. Even though it's standard deflection, I made the adjustment and did fine. But this cue uh, was advertised as the best cue under $200 30 years ago. I think it is much higher quality than what you're going to see for $200 today. People are drawn to my attention over and over again. You pay 200 bucks for that 30 years ago. That's a $1,200 cue today, just adjusted for inflation. But nevertheless, I don't play with it a lot because the, um, the shaft itself is unique. It doesn't fit the current player's cues. It doesn't fit anything. So if I was to break that or break the ferrule or whatever, I got to go to a professional to get it fixed. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. So I take this out of the bag every now and then and look at it and reminisce of the days um, going to Villanova and hustling pool with this and um, <laughs> the cue and cushion. There's a lot of places that this cue got a lot of reps, but it looks brand new today. Let's see what else we got. This is my Lucasi jump cue. Lucasi hybrid jump cue. Uh, they still make this, even though I've had it for many years. They don't make it out of the same material. This is not carbon fiber. I think it's aluminum. It is light as hell. It jumps great. Um, I, I really like this thing. It is in great shape. 
Um, I think I did bang it on the table once uh, when I missed the easy jump shot. And it might have a little tiny ding somewhere in there, but other than that, uh, it is in outstanding shape. And I actually have another jump cue in here. And this one was given to me by Robin Dotson. Uh, if you haven't heard me talk about Robin Dotson, Robin is a Hall of Fame player who is the person responsible for putting the final touches on my jump shot probably about 15 years ago. Um, Robin had her own line of uh, jump cues and if Robin is watching, I wish I could say that I use this more than I use the uh, Lucasi, but this is definitely my number two jump cue and it is unique in that when you bought this thing, and I don't think they're still available, but when you bought this, it came with two shafts. So one of them was a jump shaft, which is what I have on there now, and the other one was a playing shaft. So what you could do, if you got in a tight spot, you could put the playing shaft on this and you could get in those tight corners if you had a wall or something behind you. So it was very well thought out and it wasn't very expensive uh, as, as compared to the, um, the Lucasi uh, hybrid. But I was fortunate enough to have Robin give this to me and on top of that she helped me out with my uh, my jump shot, she is a jump shot specialist, that's what she was famous for. So I owe a lot every time I shoot a jump shot, Robin, I think about, about you. So um, thank you very much for that. And let's see what else we have. This is a Yao Preacher Mass AQ. If you aren't familiar with Mass AQs, when you see Florian do all those trick shots with Mass A shots, he's using a Mass AQ. Uh, this part of the cue is much heavier, probably about 25 ounces, uh, much heavier than a regular playing cue, which gives you the chance to go down on the ball uh, much harder. The actual shafts are shorter. If you look at the, the length of one of these shafts versus a regular shaft, it's much shorter which allows you, again, to get uh, a little bit more leverage. And it comes with a very soft tip, which allows you to put all that extra spin on the ball. I actually have this little coin with a, a line on it so that I can pull it out of my case because when I put it in the case, it goes all the way to the bottom. And the only way I can retrieve it is to pull it out with, um, with the coin. So uh, great mass AQ. I think this was probably about $350. Um, and it, I, again, I've had it for a very long time, but it is a great cue. When you see me doing Mass A shots in my videos uh, where I'm doing the, the spectacular Mass A's, the, these are the ones. Uh, this is the cue and the shaft that I'm using in those situations. I also have a couple other things that stay in my bag. Uh, I got the little bow tie um, shaper. This is the best shaper I've ever had. It is called Last Forever. If you haven't seen my videos about this thing, um, there is a link in the comments of this video uh, where you can buy one of these. A lot of the things in this video I will put links to in the, um, in the description area, not the comments area, but in the description area of the video. Uh, I've got this really cool little magnetic chalk holder thing. Uh, this is not to put on the table, but it does hold a cube of chalk without getting a mess. Got some Revo wipes. I have two extensions. This is an extension that goes on the back of the um, the Predator cues. You have to change the um, the cap on the butt, and then these go right in there. Um, you got another seven, eight inches there that you can work with, and then this one that's about four inches to the shaft. I almost never use this thing. It was expensive but I can't recall the last time I used it. One more thing, this case. This is my primary case. Uh, it is made by Instroke, and all of this stuff came out of here. Can you imagine how heavy this must be? Now, in reality, uh, it holds three butts and six shafts. I usually have every slot filled because I, I travel with three cues, um, and I have backup shafts and brake shafts and, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, in my bag, but this is made by Instroke. I know somebody's going to ask me, and I really like this. I've had this for about 10 or 15 years. 
Um, actually, I've had this exactly nine years. So this is um, uh, one of my favorite cases. And if you wait a second, I'll go get my second case. Here's my other case. This is not real crocodile. Um, even though I got pulled over by a cop once, I had this sitting on my uh, my seat, and he said, hey, is that made out of crocodile? And I said, no, and there's no guns inside. But anyway, this holds three butts and six shafts, just like the um, Instro case. I'm not sure who makes it, but if you know this logo, you can probably figure it out. I've had it for a very long time. I am certain of two things. One, you probably can't buy this one anymore, and two, you still can buy this one. I just saw it in a store uh, about five or six days ago. So um, in stroke and not sure whose brand this is and it's not on the case anywhere. But those are the cases that I use. Once again, see ya.